Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this lesson, we will learn how to design a pad footing using CSI Safe 2016 using British Standard PS8110. We will design a pad foundation which will carry a dead load of 1000 kilonewton, a life load of 350 kilonewton, the column will be 400 millimeter square column, the allowable bearing pressure will be 200 kilonewton per meter square and the materials we will use will be 35 newton per millimeter square of concrete and 460 newton millimeter of repair. First of all, before we run the software, we need to establish the size of the footing. The total load, dead plus life, is 1350 kilonewton. The self weight of the footing, since we don't know exactly, let's assume. 10% to 12% of that total load, let's take 11%. 11% 11 of 1350 will be approximately 150 kilonewton. Therefore, the total load we have will be dead plus load plus the self weight of the pad 1500 kilonewton in total. The required area of the base is 1500 divided by 200, which will be the allowable bearing pressure. 1500 divided by 200 will be 7.5 meters square, which will be minimum area required. Therefore, the, the base or the pad foundation will be 2.8 square times let's assume 600 millimeter thick base let's start our software okay since the software started let's go to new model AC, we are not going for the design code we are not going to use ACI which is American code American code we will use British standard PS 8110 1997 the units we will use will be metric we are not going to use American US customary or which will be if we're going to use that will be keep feet inches etc but we will use metric for the single footing we have an icon here call it a single footing let's use this one along x direction we have 1.4 for the left edge distance for the right edge distance 1.4 in total will be 2.8 this means the centroid of the pad F from the centroid the left edge will be 1.4 and the right edge will be 1.4 for y direction will be similar 1.4 to the top 1.4 to the bottom this means we have a concentric loading we don't have eccentric loading load size our column size the column is 400 millimeter the dead load is 1000 the life load is 350 in this case we are not going to add the self weight of the pad since the software will include this the self weight 
for foot in thickness we take 600 for the subgrade models this subgrade models depends the allowable bearing pressure it also depends the factor of safety and it depends the allowable settlement required for the foundation for the subgrade models we know that ground bearing pressure is 200 factor of safety for the foundation is 3 and the allowable settlement is 25 millimeter or 0 0.025 meter therefore the subgrade modulus is given by ground pairing pressure times the factor of safety divided by allowable settlement which makes 24,000 kN per meter cube therefore the subgrade modulus we will put two four triple zero twenty four thousand that that's given the subgrade modulus we establish it now our base or our path foundation now we have to define the materials the concrete and the rebar go to divine go to materials go to repair modify this repair we call repair 460 we don't need to change the weight per unit volume and the modulus of elasticity however we will change the yield stress and the tensile stress we make all these 460 We change now concrete, go to modify, call concrete 35, we're using 35 Newton, come to the bottom, concrete cube compressive strength, we use 35. We have to change elasticity, modulus of elasticity of concrete, go to shift double click this value is given by British standard as you can see modulus of elasticity of concrete is given 5.5 square root FCU divided by gamma M Gamma M is the uh, concrete material and it's 1.5 according to PS8110. Therefore, we will use this equation in order to work out modulus of elasticity of concrete. Therefore, we change the unit. First of all, it's kilonewton millimeter. It's 5.5 times square root of 35 divided by 1.5. This is gamma m 1.5 to the power of 0 0.5. That's the square root. Calculate. That's the value of E for 35 Newton per millimeter square concrete. Hit OK. Now we establish it. Concrete and the repair. Almost done. Now we need to define loads. Load pattern. As you can see, the dead self weight multiplier is 1. If you don't need the self weight value, you just put zero. But since we need the software to add the self weight of, of the pad foundation, we need to hit one. Now again, define load combination. 
we don't have we have to establish load combinations we will make two load combinations one for ultimate limited state and one for serviceability limited state in order to check ground pairing pressure etc and the settlement so add new first one we will call ultimate limited state for British standard for the dead load factor is 1.4 and for life load is 1.6 this is the strength or ultimate ultimate we add another combo which is SLS serviceability limited state for the dead is 1 for the life is 1 so that's service normal hit ok now almost done we need before we run we have to we have to run automatic slab mesh for finite element so instead of 1.2 we make 0 0.25 mesh let's show the mesh show mesh that's how the mesh will look like let's remove now now we need to run an analysis or you can hit f5 if you want but before we run we have to save the model we call isolated path foundation we call now we can run the software okay first of all we check the formation or settlement load combination SLS apply see the cursor we have seven or we can go to the left corner but the bottom we have 7.6 here and we have 7.98 therefore the settlement is okay since we already established a 25 mil allowable settlement now we need to check the ground pairing pressure go to load combination SLS soil pressure hit apply you can see the bottom left corner we have 183 and 191.6 these values are less than 200 kilonewton per meter square allowable pairing pressure therefore the pressure is okay go to undeformed shape now we need to check the punching shear this is very critical if the punching shear is less than one it's okay if it becomes greater than one then we have problem so we go here show punching shear design we have 0 0.6458 therefore punching shear is okay show and deform it display we need to show strip forces the bending moment and everything change SLS to ultimate limit moment layer 1 or layer A which is the X direction we have 4.9 something we, we, we don't have values let's go back and show the values display strip 
show values on diagram. We have 49794. That's the bending moment in x direction let's show in y direction in the other direction change a go to b that's same 497.94 that's what is needed to design for the reinforcement let's go back and see slab design we don't need to strip base it go to finite element basic design for direction one top reinforcement S not too much go to direction one bottom reinforcement so we have almost 2000 millimeter square per meter run reinforcement needed so you you need to design your reinforcement for that values you have to you must work out how many parts you need in order to get that these values on the other direction bottom reinforcement same this this is a 2052 millimeter square per meter run reinforcement needed what you can do is you can work out parts needed for example the bottom the top one we can make 20 300 and the bottom one similar 20 300 applied that's how to work out reinforcement for the path foundation